it feels great. We had a great uh, E3. We told the world about Psychonauts. It was really funny E3 because all the crew came down. There was just a bunch of people from the Lobato team who came and got to see their demo that they've been working on for so long. It was the longest time I've ever spent in E3 because they usually just bomb me for like three days, talk my voice out, and go. And But this time we came in Thursday to do rehearsals for the Xbox press conference. Well, no, the news is that we're getting acquired. We're getting acquired. We're getting bought by Microsoft. We're going to announce the acquisition. The acquisition. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. It actually makes me feel excited about coming up with creative ideas. Again, my own, like being able to run a project without, I won't have to do any more biz dev. Like I won't have to do any more pitching. I won't have to do any more traveling road shows, you know, and asking for permission for things. We could just make fun games and then just tell them what we're doing and put them up. It would be great. Well, it isn't, you know, it's one of those things that it's... Is that like sandpaper or like a knife? No, it's... <laughs> Does it feel really... It feels kind of like a scratchy cat tongue. All right, thank you so much. I'm going to mess it up on stage. I'm going to blow my lines. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my back hurts. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited. I had to come out after Keanu Reeves. It was fun. And then we went and did it. Stuff, Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the actual E3 starting for us, like the actual what it's like to have a booth. We have a lot of teeth and a lot of dental horror in our level, and to make feel better when, the, people feel better when they leave, they get a toothbrush with the actual- one that got touched by Tim Schafer? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> all the mage ones are coming early, so all the like IGNs and game spots, and that's the key is um, you want to set the buzz early in the week with all the big outlets so that, that people are coming throughout the rest of the week. Um, awesome. People are going to start showing up here in 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, I want to let everybody know what's going on. Hey! hey. That's awesome. Big I think we're about to get going. What's up, Greg? Uh, do hey, we have the first group? Greg, yeah, they're almost okay. there, yeah. Okay. Happy E3, everybody. It's begun. Yeah. Officially, yeah. <laughs> so are you guys mostly media or other things, too? Yeah. Um, Psychonauts, as you remember, is an action adventure platformer. Uh, action, I said action invention. That's how you can tell it's the first demo. Action invention platformer. Sure. And so their first mission, they, uh, the Psychonauts will do what they do best, which is to do kind of a Mission Impossible type heist inside the mine. Okay, great. All right. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> this is the first puzzle in the game. Yeah, we, we want to make sure people really know what they're doing. Yeah, we get Aaron. Welcome to the world of E3 demos. <laughs> Something that was working five minutes ago. Yeah, exactly. So like we, we get everything set up and we were testing everything and getting everything calibrated and like, okay, we got everything running well. And then Tim goes in to run the first demo and like a minute later, someone comes out and grabs me like, Aaron, the controller doesn't work. And Tim's like, Hey everybody, this is a programmer. We're gonna get everything figured out. One of our fine programmers at Double Fine. Yeah, it keeps popping up and, and losing it. Do you want me to grab one? Turns out uh, we, we had a couple of uh, USB extension cables chained together and the computer didn't like that too well. Anyways, easy to fix. Three days ago. Alright, we're in. So I did a few demos for the press. The early ones for the press were very, you know, they're very factually based, stoic, um, writing down things like regrets, uh, doubts. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> I don't think you understand the gravity. <laughs> That's a metaphor for our demo experience. It's 
it's kind of interesting. You have the uh, like all the press and media people go through, and they're basically like stone faced the entire time. It's kind of terrifying to go through and watch them play. They want to keep that like I'm remaining impartial kind of kind of vibe. So this is a little weird having people write their articles about the game you are live demoing, but whatever. <laughs> but at the end, Schumann Zanotto, who is the grand head of the Psychonauts, sorry, the camp is run by the Psychonauts. I told that's really important and I just forgot about that. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm just biffing it, making the company look bad. This? What, what, what do you mean? You're so clean. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's really interesting. Like, there, there's a huge difference between watching the press or media sit through one of the playthroughs versus fans. Has anyone played the first Psychonauts game before? Oh my god, so many of you! Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, me too, right, girl? One guy who I loved from last night, um, I asked if anybody played it, and he was just like, you weren't even born then. And I'm like, yeah, no, I've been born. Well, welcome to our demo. And uh, thanks for coming to check out Psychonauts 2. Raise your hand if you play the first game. Did you play the first game? Okay. And then we did some for fans, and they uh, were much more boisterous and loud and laughing at things. That was really fun. But then you have a group of fans come in, and they get all excited, and they, they laugh at all the jokes, and they get excited when the characters are reintroduced, and there's new enemies, and all that kind of stuff. So that part's pretty great. Yay, thanks for watching. Yay. So. Yay, yay! Great! Uh, well, cool, I hope you like that. And right after then, uh, Raz dies and the game <laughs> goes into a dream sequence. No, um, um, Raz wakes up and he's on the jet with Dr. Lobato. Hi. Hi, thank you. Woohoo! Thanks for coming, everybody! Hello! Hey! Oh, you guys. Ah. This is so amazing. This is such a huge thing. Is it big? Uh, Scott Campbell came up. <laughs> 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 it's real life. That's amazing. Whoa. That's amazing. Isn't that feet. great? Like we always hoped and dreamed. Wait, that's exactly what it was supposed to be. Yeah. Second Ops 2. Woo! We got nominated for some awards. Oh, we got another one. Pretzel? I'm okay. Hello, hello. Other, Anybody. Other yeah. prices uh, before or after tax. Yeah. Uh oh. Are these someone's classes? It's been going amazing. Like uh, people coming out of the demo are saying like a lot of awesome stuff to us, and they all want shirts and pins. And yeah. <laughs> did you want a Raz pin as well, or did you want just the powers? Yeah, and uh, E3 exclusives this year are the uh, the blacklight poster and uh, the cover art print. I'm sitting out here, running running merch stuff. And all of a sudden we see like all the lights in the entire uh, convention center flicker for a second. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Wait a minute. I go open the door to the demo thing and sure enough, like everything is shut down and dead. I'm like, oh crap. So we had to, we had to you know, whoever who was in there, we had, to, we had to usher them out. And we figured, okay, we'll just boot everything back up. It'll be fine and get back in there. And the TV is drawing like every other line of pixels is like this solid black line and yeah. So I had my laptop with me, I rushed my laptop in there and like plugged things in, trying to figure out like what, what has failed, what is broken. Um, and was real nervous there for a moment that I was gonna have to like call in someone to go run down to a, like the nearby Target and buy us a new TV or something. Uh, after finagling with the sound system and, and, and resetting it a couple times, it eventually sorted itself out. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing it was like a power surge or something and something in the sound system did not like that. Associates. You're not gonna show me eating a hamburger with Jack Black, are you? But the tour is great, right? Funny. Yeah. Okay, is so it time to go? You guys, I think it's time for us to go on stage. Oh my god. Sammy, that was the good bite. You took my best bite. <laughs> Did Bill Gates wine and dine ya? <laughs> I didn't want to uh, name drop, but uh, yeah. It took multiple dinners. 
in the wallet. <laughs> you! you know, Jack's such a lovely person, you know, and his family's fun, and um, they were very, they were very inclusive. Let us hang out in their dressing room with them, including my entourage that showed up behind me. I looked around and was like, "Why are there four people behind me?" Oh, I'm going to Jack's dressing room. That's why. Um, we got invited to the Xbox Employee Appreciation Party, which felt funny because we we're like, wow, we're employees. I mean, I guess a lot of people have been employees but me. And now I was like, employees? Um, that was really nice because we got to meet a lot of people from the other companies like Ninja Theory. I mean, yeah, it, it, it was very warm and welcome. We've had catered food before. Big deal, big deal. Not impressed, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> Going up and down. That's good. I mean, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> There's a creep behind me. It's a hard show. Like, it doesn't look hard, but when you come and do it, it's tiring. You know, just it's a lot of being always on, like talking to people and standing up and, you know, working on things. Are you guys doing? Uh, I could use a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, Tucker's been playing well. We, we, you almost missed it, but it added a little tension. Enjoy your last moments of E3. And then we got a bunch of awards. You saw we got nominations and awards from different media outlets for the game. And the team got to see that, and that was nice. We just received another award. Oh, what a stage win! Oh, best best Shaq teeth. News! Yes. Best Teeth! Best Teeth! Shaq News! Right, we're, 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 best Teeth! Best Outlet. That's awesome. Best what? We won the Best Teeth of Show from Shaq News, so job done. It's nice to have all those nominations and awards up there. I don't think we've ever had that many for a thing, so it's cool. I even know who some of them are. <laughs> Just teeth. Hi. Hey, it looks amazing. Thank you. What? The game looks amazing. Oh, you saw the demo. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for come watching. Thanks yeah, for watching. The first one was awesome. So oh, great. Wait for this oh, one. that's awesome. So it's it's quiet down, but you know the team's still here. We've sold out of shirts. Uh, we've sold out a bunch of other merch. Um, demos are still filling up, but it's going to be nice to just get out of here. <laughs> yeah, look at that creep. Yeah, it's been really, really good. I'm super glad we came, made our funny little booth, and <laughs> yeah, it's been really, really, really good. Now we're all relaxing. This is kind of our end of E3 party at the Airbnb we rented. Everyone's swimming or eating uh, barbecue and chilling out by the fire pit. Oh God, this will help dry my swimsuits. It's all good except for my voice being gone. But yeah, nothing but lovely things happened all week. So that was really nice. Thank you.